previously on High School Vampire Chronicles. You're like, really pale, but really attractive. Chill out. I, I actually need your help. Uh, my girlfriend is a vampire too. Okay, so I think that Chad is really cute, and I think I may like him. This book is really intriguing. I need to find Stacy. Where is she? Here, loser. He's not a loser. He's just misunderstood. What is this? We got you a new iPhone and added my number in it so we can text each other and like our statuses and FaceTime and all sorts of fun stuff. This is a telephone? Where is the rotary dial? It's my old phone since I upgraded and you'll have like 20 free minutes on it. Data limits apply, some areas provide limited coverage, etc. I'm going to text you right now to make sure it works. Heart face, winky face, kiss lip face? What kind of childish nonsense is this? I also set you up with an Insta account so you can follow me and keep up with all the hottest high school deets. I don't follow what you're saying. More heart faces? Why are the faces yellow? I also install the locator app so I will always know where you are. And you can always find me. Isn't that wonderful? But you're right in front of me. Bye. TTYL! Hey, Stacy, I saved you a seat next to me. Oh, I thank you, Chad. Do you want to talk about your feelings? I am so interested in what you have to say. Chad, what is wrong with you today? And Stacy. I need to tell you about how much I am in love with Vlad. Look, Brittany, I am very happy for you and Vlad. As you can see, though, I'm talking to Chad right now. Yeah, Brittany, we're having a dialogue. But Stacy, you need to see what Vlad just texted me on his new phone. It's so romantic. So, Chadwick, want to come over after school today and help me study? Or... We can go pick out a couple's Halloween costume for the Halloween party. I definitely do. Well, I actually will help you study. Since I'm in the top 90th percentile in class, and you've slept through a lot of class. You definitely are. You have good eyes. Stacy, what is going on? I thought we were friends. Oh, I'm ever so sorry. Is my blooming relationship with Chad interrupting? Brittany, one word from Stacy. And I'll have to physically remove you from the area. Excuse me? Chad, that won't be necessary. But I appreciate the offer of masculine chivalry. Your hair is also good. Like your eyes. I am flattered. I'm going to text Vlad. This is just too weird. I don't understand what any of these symbols mean. Will you turn that thing on silent? I used to text with Brittany like that. Brad, I thought you didn't care about her anymore. Especially since all the hot BYOB body smashing we've been having. I don't care. I just care that she's texting him instead of me. That's like not caring by association. Don't be jealous, Bradley. I don't know how to stop the noises coming out of this infernal machine. Where is my crew? I haven't seen my bro Chad all day and I am in need of some serious reassurance. Blade. Brad, you just have to help me pick out an ultra sexy Halloween costume for the party. Won't that be fun for me? Chad and I were going to pick out a bro centric costume for the party. How do I charge my phone before Brittany texts me another heart winky snowman face? Vlad, I don't feel primo about this, but you want to be part of my incredibly elite crew? I have a new opening on a strict bro chacho basis. I thought I was already on your crew. You're on the team, completely different. I'll be in your crew. I'll be your everything. I'll be your anything. I don't know if you can be in my crew and also be my woman. It's like blatant violation of bro code. What do you think, Vlad? Bro?
What do you think about this costume? I think it is culturally insensitive and you should put it back on the shelf. Bradley. Uh... What about this? I'm a cat. Well... I'm going as this. I'm going as that. We can't have the same costume. Stacy wore it best. What is going on with you lately, Chad? Why are you trying to steal my best friend, Stacy? Are you jealous of what we have because it bloomed overnight and Chad and I are just picking out a couple's costume? Everyone shut up and look at me. Vlad, hold my phone while I strike a pose for my followers. Uh... I am still in this costume. And you still look best in it. Vlad, don't I just look amazing in this costume? You... Don't just stand there. Compliment me on this amazing ensemble. Um, what? Make sure to take a video, then crop it, filter it, and trim the clip for an Insta story and TikTok, okay? I dropped your phone and the screen broke. What? You just did what? Bradley. You stop looking at Brittany right now and look at me! Uh... Chad, you're paying for all this, right? Bro, Stacy is so attractive in any costume. Don't forget glow sticks. That was so much fun! Thank you so much for coming over to Lend a Hand. I can't for the life of me figure out what's wrong with her. No problem. Where is your girlfriend at? Cindy. Her name is Cindy. Okay, sure. She's just downstairs. I had to chain her up because she's just so crazy lately. <sighs> See what I mean? She's really hungry. <sighs> Blake, you've got to be kidding me. Cindy. It's me, Michael, my Cole, from eHarmony.com. This is not a vampire. Right, she's my vampire and my girlfriend. This is a zombie. That is so offensive. There's no way I'd be dating a zombie. Look out, Blair! Ow, Sydney, ah! I will not be intimidated by a bag of rotting bones. Well, time to go. What am I going to do? What did you do? I remember. I record all conversations in my office for subsequent private use. This guy had a girlfriend and she was a vampire but really was a zombie and he also was a zombie so I murdered them. Oh God, Vlad. Why would you do that? For the betterment of humanity? Well now the betterment of humanity will likely have you convicted on two counts of second degree murder. If they remained as undead and unmurdered zombies, I could have reached a plea deal with Battery, defiling a corpse, or a warning with community service. But the way you screwed this up, you're likely looking at a life sentence. Blit! Give me your bloody clothes. Any details you left out? Was there any evidence outside the scene? Anything that can be traced back to you? I made a few bloody footprints and there was a lot of homicidal screaming. Damn it! That is the worst kind of screaming. I also wrote a note on my new phone about how bad it felt killing them. That's now called incriminating evidence. Hand it over. That had all my important applications on it. Bleh! You'll thank me for this. Some of these apps sucked. You're lucky I know what the hell I'm doing. What do I do now? Your phone says you have a Halloween party to go to? The party. Whitney is already dancing on the table for the fifth time! I love this song! Everyone loves me! Hey Brittany, I have a Halloween question for you. Just because we are dressed as characters doesn't mean we are different people. I just wanted to ask... It's over, Bradley. 
even though we had a passionate teenage romance. I am with Vlad now, so you'll have to accept that, or find a way to sabotage Vlad next episode or something. I wanted to ask if Chad has been really weird lately. He is always with Stacy now, and we haven't had adequate bro time since homecoming. Even I had to invite backup bro, Coach Carl. Those kids are old enough to drink beers, right? Uh... Oh, yes. Chad is acting very strangely. Sorry to butt in, but Chad's social content has also completely fallen in quality and consistency. Uh... He also stopped hitting on me. Victoria, this is a private conversation. OMG, sorry for sipping the tea. You're just aggro because Vlad isn't here. I am. I feel like a kid again. Chad, you are the best friend a girl could ask for. I adore you. Enough talk. Let's go somewhere private. It's almost like Chad is under a spell. I love this song. <laughs> Do I look hot right now? Looks like I need to take Whitney home. This has been a terrible night. This party is over. Well, time to head on over to the bar. Vlad! There you are. Brittany, my darling! Why weren't you at the party? And you didn't answer my texts. And why are you in your underwear? I w I don't care. Whatever it is, I begrudgingly understand. I'm sorry. I was about to go home and change. This is my house. This spooky old mansion that everyone in the third grade said a bunch of murders happened at. Blit! Oh, Vlad. Inviting me in? This makes up for everything. That petrifying sound. I didn't hear anything. I did not hear that either. Whoa. Bradley.